Why, hello, peasantry and worker underclass. It is I, Captain Slappy. And the sheer desperation coming from Russian Bland. I'm sorry. Russell Brand. The same dude that was fucking a Rothschild. I want you to remember this shit. Because the Poltards are just off the rails. I mean, you could see Moscow going, shit, we're getting ready to lose another one. <laughs> That's right, you are. Uh, little Handy Andy Tater, Andrew Tate. I mean, nothing but a, a, a sex pest and rapist and stuff. He's fucked. They lost that Duke night, right? Now, I remember succinctly uh, when Russell come out, as y'all do, and everybody was like, who, who is this fucking idiot anyway? And why the fuck is he suddenly thinking that he's going to run the conspiracy mo movement, right? Right? Everybody was like, no, this is not going to work. The, the, the usual people are like, no. And so, of course, you know, he started uh, hopping magically onto, like, uh, uh, Alex KGB Jones's uh, show. And he, uh, lately, he's been on uh, Cucker Tarlson's Moscow Mule Network. Uh, it's just, you know, good times, fun times, because Rusky Brand uh, is a known paid KGB asset. It's not a guess. He he absolutely is and was. Uh, some of us are uh, old enough to have remembered when uh, he took the little bath in the uh, the fountain. If any of you remember that, when he decided he was going to quote lead the revolution unquote the people's revolution and and there were some uh, individuals that made sure he understand he wasn't leading two but two things jack and shit. And gave him a bath. <laughs> I seem to remember that. Anyway, so evidently, I don't know why anyone did not see this one coming. If you watch uh, Rusky Bland's video, it was just like his denial, outright denial. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't never done. No, dude, we, you, you're a foreign asset, dude. Don't. Don't worry, whatever they do to you, I'm okay with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know you're fighting for the quote, the people, unquote, but what if instead you're actually a foreign asset and nobody should give a shit what happens to you, right? Uh, so kids, as much as I might get a chuckle out of Richie the Barber, holy fire, holy fire, says Richie. And uh, as much as Richie might be an interesting guy, He's not going to bring you the reality of the situation, which is, well, Rusky, you know, uh, you've had a good run, uh, much like Vince McMahon and some of the others. So you got to go, my man. I mean, what do you think home office is going to do uh, after so many years of you being a failed foreign operation? What, what do you think they were going to do? I mean, you have to be a retard at some point to keep keep going and hanging out at Russia today and then go, oh, I don't know why everybody thinks, well, you're a paid Russian asset, you fucking moron. And people out here are watching Moscow hand you packets, pickle packs to repeat and regurgitate Mr. Duganite. And it's like, no, kind of obvious. So I, this is going to blow your fucking mind, Russell. During the middle of a war with Russia, who do you think I'm going to side with? You? No. <laughs> You're not ever going to pay my bills or, or defend my, my, my county in America. You're a fucking idiot. I don't care what they do to you. There is zero loss on my end if they say, well, we got, see you later, Mr. Rusky Brand. Now, for a, he knew this had to have been coming. His network did. I know his buddy Joe Rogan, Mr. Duganite Joe Rogan, knew this was coming. Because Rusky's been trying to run around act, acting like a Christian late, uh, of lately. You know what I'm saying? All, all of a sudden, he's a Christian. Well, I hate to tell you, son, that doesn't absolve you from the crime of working for a foreign government during the middle of a war. 
<laughs> so, I don't know exactly what you thought was going to happen when you're the commie pinko hanging out with the commie pinkos, screaming and crying when laws are used against you. So, is this a coordinated attack on the paid foreign asset? Okay, the paid foreign asset, Rusky Brand. Yes, everyone saw this fucking coming. Everyone did. O only the bots that are out there floating in about how he's a freedom fighter. Yeah, okay, sure. So, like anything else, what did we learn from this? Well, nothing really. Don't go to work for a foreign government and be an unregistered foreign agent. And and don't, I don't know, think you're just going to slide on that shit because you was fucking a Rothschild once? That's not how that works. All right? I know. To be fair, Katy Perry may have been, or Caddy Perry may have been very mean to Richie the Barber. I don't, I, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to, I'm just going to have to take it on faith that Richie's not lying. So, <laughs> I'm just going to point out, I'm not going to go against Katy Perry on this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the best thing she could have done is get the fuck away from Russell Brand, who is now, you know, at, at, depending on how this turns out, is probably going to end up being a chomo, right? Because, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because that's probably how that's going to go. I don't know exactly what the news over there is doing on Rusky Brand uh, on this upcoming deal. It doesn't matter. What does matter, well, I should say, if you can't get them one way, you're going to get them another. And again, Rusky Brand is not the innocent victim here. No, he's working for a foreign government and fucking you. Attempting to fuck you. And fuck up your shit. Okay? Attempting to fuck up your elections. He is not an American citizen. Okay? He, he, he's not any part of this shit. He doesn't have a say in this shit. He does not have freedom of speech. Okay? So, when he's engaging in highly illegal shit with foreign governments, again, if Home Office wants to whack his fucking kneecaps, I don't care. That's up to the King Charles the Ninth, or whatever he would be now. I don't know how many King Charleses there were, but you got another one. So, Anyway, that's up to them, not not me. So if they decide, well, you know what we'll do, we got to go out and we got to destroy the, you know, wipe out brand's brand, you know, quote the people's fighter trademark all rights reserved, unquote. Well, if that's what they got to do, that's what they got to do. It doesn't hurt my feelings, because in grown up town, uh, you know, you're hoping, well, yeah, yeah, that guy over there, you, we've known that for a decade and a half with Russell Brand. You people that I know out here, we watched it. We, we talked about this exact shit back then. It's not, it's not a guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of obvious. So, you know, rip Russell Brand. And something else is, uh, uh, I don't know exactly why they they do this other type of stuff. The uh, the destruction of the, the mythos with him because I hate to tell you this Russell has no stroke or real following outside the, the wag jobs the fringe kooks that are useful idiots for these type of operations I'm just stating hey man I ain't got no I ain't gonna back talk no fucking mi5 or six or none of those fucking people if they're like oh slappery who the fuck do you know i ain't nobody man you do what you want just don't do it here do it over there <laughs> just leave me out of that <laughs> if you want to break his fucking ass go ahead stomp a new mud hole in it he's a paid for an asset but like anything else you'll you'll notice how weak-minded people are or when you, i say weak-minded i mean ignorant of 
the other facts and it's just like you just walk into a room like no 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 he's a paid russian asset he's moscow mule then we're like oh but that's okay no motherfucker it's not okay it's not even remotely okay example i'm captain slappy what if i just go ahead and go to work for china right now right absolutely i'm in fact i'm going to tell andrew bustamani i'm going to call him up andrew i uh, i uh, the the CCP, their intelligence services, contacted me and told me they want to hire me to do propaganda. And, of course, that's okay. Completely legal, man. It's no big deal. I'm just going to sit right here and do that. And, of course, it'll never come back to bite me in the ass because I'm important. Do you know what the fuck they're going to tell me? Hello, dumb fuck. <laughs> Hello, your ass is getting ready to go do some prison time one way or another. We don't give a fuck how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. So, I don't know what this fascinating thing is, especially on YouTube or the internet, but the botnet and shit just can't get past the fact that that's illegal. You cannot do that shit, okay? For a reason, you cannot do that shit. You have to remember Russell Brand, his bland brand, has always been targeted at specific stuff. You can read it coming from Moscow on the on the telnet on the on the telefax, right? You can read the script and you can watch what he does, and it's the same fucking thing. Now I've covered this multiple times, so I don't need to cover it again on how those agencies work it, with propaganda. It is a fucking script for these people. Now. <sighs> I thought, I thought we had all learned from Alex KGB Jones. Evidently not. So evidently we got to learn now with something. The UK is usually slower with their stuff. I would not have thought that they would have done this in Britain on, on Rus, Rusky brand. But if they do, they do. And that's interesting to go about it that way. And... If nothing else, it gives their intelligence services a lot to work with, like, uh, uh, what was his fucking name? Tommy Robinson, obvious Moscow mule, paid, everyone knows it. Duganite, everyone knows it. Uh, the beautiful thing about his actual name, Stephen Yaxley Lennon, all this other shit, is, uh, yeah, everyone knew <laughs> the whole fucking time. So how did you think that was going to work out for him? I'm sure he thought it was going to work out differently. They usually do that. So someone like Rusty Bland goes out and says, you know, the law doesn't apply to me. This is okay. This is not a big deal. There's probably some compromat involved. It would not surprise me if you find out later that... Uh, now, this is true, and I cannot knock... I'm not going to knock the KGB for this shit. Okay, Gru and the others. Never going to knock them for this shit because they're not stupid like Russell Brand. Okay? I don't think all actors are mental defectives. I don't think that. A lot of the actors you see are mental defectives. Okay? And you're like, for fuck's sake, no wonder uh, the Soviets did so much damage in the early 1900s with this shit. Because these people are fucking morons, man. It's like they can't conceive of basic common sense shit in the world. Because they don't have real jobs. They don't have, like, a connection with the rest of the universe. You know what I mean? So, again, that doesn't apply to all of them. That's not what I mean. What I'm stating is, you can see how easy it was, and he is, for Mossad, the Germans back in the day, the Russians, the British, and all their intelligence services to walk into Hollywood and just go, this is what we're going to do. We're going to run these uh, compromat versions of stuff on these people and just start, you know, infiltrating out from that. And it's like, wow, was that easy. Wow. Look at how easy it was with Russell Brand. Hey, the dude's a fucking moron if he didn't see that one coming. So the only thing I can think of is, oh, no, no, no. There was something else going on, and they were like, hey, Rusky, we need to use you 
and you're going to do it because we got this on you. Now, some people will say, well, that's the weakest form of blackmail. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Trust me, it works every day. Uh, I will agree with Andrew Bustamante that it does not work with certain people. Now, that's something that Andrew did not go into detail about because that's a trick of the trade, I'm sure. It does work with all pe almost, almost all people. It will not work with some people, all right? It will work with the Bill Gates, as we learned, won't it, Andrew? It absolutely will work with super, quote, super smart, unquote, businessmen, right? Yes, it does. It works quite well. It worked quite well for everybody on Epstein's uh, fly log. It worked quite well. But what you're looking at is a negative compromat, not a positive compromat, was something that Andrew did not cover, interestingly enough, which is the payoff compromat. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll never do anything to you as long as you go do this. Come on, you can go on my, my flights to the island. We'll take care of you. You're part of the club now. Right? And... As you could see, all of them pretty much went down without a fight, uh, without ratting each other out. Or is that actually true? Well, it depends on how you view it. But anyway, there's other things in there. I'll leave, I'll leave it to Andrew. He's the entertainment division now. So, anyway... What did we learn from this? What is the valuable lesson we can learn? Well, don't be a fucking idiot and don't get wrapped up in that shit. Obviously. If, if, you know, if you're having to go out and act like a complete fucking utter fool to make 20 bucks because you just do not want a real job, it absolutely drives you up the wall to have a real job. What are the odds that you don't have a clue that everybody else is going to use you in ways that you do not want to be used okay that industry that that industry is rife and was built on that shit for that shit okay now as always you'll know that you'll notice the chans and everybody are going to great lengths to either get rid of the russell brand threads or or Explain it away. Explain it away as, oh, it's this or it's that. It's never he's just a paid KGB asset in an operation that went sour. Never that, right? Nope, never that. And in fact, he's the victim, which is how you know who's paying who because you're seeing a lot of that come out about, oh, he's the victim. Oh, he's the victim. Trust me, he's not a victim. Nope. No, I, I, here's another question. I know a lot. Let's act like I do know some famous people. Let's act like that. You don't see them going and hanging out with uh, the KGB. You don't see them going hang, hanging out with Mossad and stuff. Because they're smart enough to know not to go do that shit. Okay? They know that that shit will ruin their lives. Assuming they survive it physically okay because you you don't go do that shit so you won't go have your life absolutely fucking wiped out and your families and everybody else's that's around you okay the smart ones go go to work go do their job and go home and say well you know they don't do a kevin spacey and hang out with jeff epstein and them right and then blame all the dead people. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, see, the smart ones don't go do that shit. It's just like, oh, it's a job. I'm happy with my TV career or my movie career. I'm okay with how this is going. I do not want to go any deeper into this shit. So, as always, I'm always, always up for, as everyone should be, as y'all are, a good old purge. Can't, you just can't beat a good old purge. A good old government jackboot purge. Right? I mean, that's the whole point of national security and even having a fucking government. One would think that it would be out there to protect 
itself and to protect you too when it gets around to it not saying it's great right now pretty 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 sloppy sometimes <laughs> but i'm not i don't run it so you know there's that i mean if you don't like the way it runs go do it yourself is how that's supposed to be done so we're in 20 minutes into national security and you the corporation and you national security issues so russell bland is an american national security issue has been for a long time uh has been for 15 years as as we know as us as us knows right we know we know you know i know so it's either team america or it's russell brand and i'm going to pick team america because russell brand will, will never help me out he will not help me out he will throw my ass under the bus to preserve uh uh his his fake backstory and to cover up his crimes and shit all right so i'm gonna go pick team america because they'll probably fuck me the least out of the two so there's that and anytime you hear a foreigner say hey man if i was you uh I'd get rid of the fucking FBI and the CIA and everybody. And you're looking at them going, what? And they're like, yeah, yeah, fuck the cops, man. You got to get rid of them. Okay, I'll tell you what, Russell. Let's get rid of uh, all of your intelligence services and all of, all of that. But in fact, let's get rid of foreign intelligence services first. I'll tell you what, we'll make a deal. I'll get rid of all of the CIA and the NSA and the FBI. After we get rid of all the Russians and the Israelis that are in my government and in the country, operating illegally, doing illegal espionage shit, including subversion operations, that's that's the deal I'll strike with you, Russell and Alex Jones. Let's do that first, and I promise to you, hand to God. We'll clean out the CIA and FBI later. But we got to take care of that foreign influence first. Now, guess what deal they never make because they refuse to sign on the dotted line? And, hmm, I wonder why they would do that. Why would they tell me to go get rid of my own cops first? Not any of the foreigners first. The foreign intelligence agencies first. It's kind of weird the way that works, right? You would think Russell Brand would be sitting there saying, Hey, Slappy, I heard you had a Chinese uh, problem, the intelligence agencies of China, doing illegal dope grow operations with illegal immigrants and illegal guns and all this other stuff. Uh, I heard you had that problem. I want to help you with that. No, Russell never says that. He never says, Slappy, I need to... Make sure your law enforcement's straight and great to go. Good to go, man. We need to make sure just they have all the the, the uh, funding and the manpower they need to take care of these foreign operations. I never, oddly, I never hear that from Alex Jones or any of the others. I wonder why that is. I wonder if that has something to do with, uh, what country is that? Was it, uh, no, was it Mexico? Uh, was it Germany? No. Oh, Russia! That's right. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if Russia has something to do with them. I mean, except all the, all, all the times we caught them being paid by Russia to do that shit. You know, to tell you, no, no, get rid of your own government. You know, <laughs> just dumb shit. Right? So far, that's the only thing uh, Rusky Brand has ever actually accomplished is basic Russian propaganda. As clear as fucking day. I put it up. I put it up. Their game plan is super simple, isn't it? Super fucking simple. And they've been doing it 120 years here, so at least. So I got to point out, you would think when you saw a guy jackbooting down your internet street, right? And he's like the Stasi and shit. And you're like, listen. This guy doesn't seem right. He keeps telling me I need to blow up my police station. I need to go fight the hospital. I need to blow up the hospital. I need to chase down executives at some random company. 
But he's never telling me to go get elected a sheriff or to run my own government or to know people that run my government so I can have an influence inside the network. I wonder why that is. <laughs> right common sense shit. Which is how badly done... Well, to be fair, they are successful operations to a degree. There, there's always going to be an argument about how successful they are, numbers-wise, statistically, conversion rates, right? There's always that stuff. Uh, you also have to remember that those operations are designed to also neutralize movement from basic citizen stuff. You know what I mean? But to make sure that you don't want to go have an impact on how anything runs. Because if you're not involved, it's easier for them to walk in. So it's more important that they do something super, super fucking important that you catch with all of these groups all the time. But because it's common sense, is individualism. Individualism. You're the most important. You're God. Only your rights matter. And, w and whatever rights that you say exist, you know what I mean? It's always that, always that exact shit about how important uh, you are over everyone else. You know, your neighbors don't count. Your neighborhood doesn't count. It's only what you want. Make sure to be emotional about it. Make sure that you're armed when you're arguing with people. So on and so forth, right? Super simple system. And those types of operations are extremely valuable. They do have an impact. They have had an impact in the Internet age a lot. How do we know this? I have a whole channel dedicated to some of that. Correct? Okay. So, it's important to note the basics of how this work works with foreign intelligence agencies. Now, I know I'm supposed to go argue with the CIA and FBI because Trump said so. No, I'm not worried about that. I am not worried about that. I have my influence on how that works. Okay? There's no need for childlike excrement emotions on the subject. Thank you very much. But I certainly do not want... Russell Brand involved in any of my shit because unlike Russell I'm a citizen here he's not okay so that's a very important thing to remember now again I don't care what happens to him he's made it quite clear what government he works for and who he sides with so you know there you go Life is just unfair like that, Rusky, Rusky brand. Again, I have to say, I'm sure other people won't say it, I find it highly amusing when the Chinese or the Russians do those operations and get these people, because <laughs> you know their agents have to be going, what the fuck, man, really? This guy's a fucking idiot. I cannot believe this worked, right? Because you go ask their agents, would you ever fall for that? No, I would never fucking fall for that shit. It's common sense. Well, how did this guy? Well, he's just a fucking idiot, man. He's just uh, too busy doing drugs and thinking he's God and shit. So let the fucking idiot think, think whatever he wants. You know, and you just go, wow, you know, it was easy. I get it now. I get it now. I, I get how that was so simple. It was just... Fucking works wonders. Right? Right? I mean, it's fairly fucking simple when you think about it. Yes, I know I'm supposed to be uh, fighting NASA. Taking NASA down. The man. NASA. Oh, my God. We never went to the moon, or maybe we did. It doesn't really fucking matter. It doesn't, I don't care what they fucking do. You know what I mean? Oh, the head Nazis working for... I fucking don't care. I hate to tell you this, I cannot go back in time to stop that shit. I am not going to be angry over that shit. <laughs> I don't know about you people. That's what people like Russell Brand have to, they always have to say in the future, they're coming for you, or maybe today they're coming for you. Whatever. 
Uh, you are the victim. You're the most important thing in the center of the fucking ES light. Now, you're not. You're not. And Russell's getting ready to prove to you you're not because he's going to wrap your ass up in a foreign operation. And you are going to do prison time. And then you'll be like, fuck, I sure wished I had not listened to that stupid English bastard. Let me be clear that all my British friends, hey, we're good to go. Y'all know who you are, Gaz and everybody else. Y'all are good to go. You know what I mean with Russell Brand. Because <laughs> this is the other part that evidently does not make it to the internet. Gaz and everybody hate that motherfucker. <laughs> Russell Brand, they hate it. No, he ain't one of us. <laughs> he ain't one of, he's a fruit fruitcake motherfucker, and he ain't one of us. Which is good to see. So, I guess, I guess, uh, I what what the uh, the fruitcake tree has finally made fruit and it's Russell Brand getting his ass fucking stomped stomped you know curb stomped by uh, the media of Britain you know what I mean of of uh, the UK they're stomping a hole in his ass and uh, <laughs> I don't know I have to ask Gaz what he thinks but uh, I know he's gonna say oh it's fucking high. God I can't stand it Gaz taking too long for the shit to happen. I've been watching that ignorant motherfucker for 15 years. I wish his ass would go away. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, that's what Gaz and some of them are going to say. You know, they're like, fuck, I wish this guy would just get stomped out. Well, he's getting ready to get stomped out. Yeah, I know. Some of it took a little too long, but you know what? You know what, kids? Think of this. His operation is so unsuccessful <laughs> for the last 10 years. This is where he ended up. He's the David. He's the Motel Six of David Dukes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> of foreign assets. He's the uh, the Super Eight. I, I'm trying to. Well, of course that doesn't that doesn't directly translate to. Well, he's not the Tesco's of. I see. I don't know who the fuck to pick for that one. For. Our English friends. I, d I don't know how to translate that. It's the shitty motel on the side of the Roach Motel on the side of the road. That's Russell Brand. Oh, that's what I was going to He's the Motel 6 of... Uh, but I guess that's unfair to Motel 6 just because they you actually get some value out of them when you pay for it. Right? There you go. That There's a joke for y'all. Y'all ought to like that one. They're like, what? <laughs> All this time we've been waiting for King Arthur to come back. All we keep, keep fucking getting is Russell Brand. <laughs> this is not working out for me. I do not like how this is going. Well, you know, it's what. Look, listen. Economy's bad nowadays. I mean, you, you, he's like the uh, Dollar Tree fucking King Arthur, right? <laughs> the fucking Dollar General. I, I see. I don't know if Tesco's is a Dollar General or not. So he's the he's the Tesco's of fucking King Arthur. <laughs> he's not really a good old mom and pop handcrafted King Arthur. He's just the the widget version. You know what I mean? So anyway, <laughs> he's like the generic pub crawl, right? Where it's just Starbucks or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so there you go. All I can tell you is it's about high time. Who who didn't see this one coming? And and kids, you know, everyone's crying all the time. I want a storyline worth a fuck. I want a storyline, and it's like, well, you getting one? Are you going to tell me you don't like it? No, I don't like it. No, no. Well, go, go get a job, motherfucker, running it. So and make a better storyline and quit bitching to me. Okay. Just. Go do it your own fucking self. Nope. You're not going to do it. You're going to say, Slappy, I don't like that. Or, or sometimes, Slappy, I do like that. Well, listen. The ADL had it coming is all I got to say. I wouldn't have quite went the way everybody would have went with it. But it doesn't matter. The ADL deserves it. All right? The ADL is not a part of your government. It's just a private corporation for profit. Okay? It has, it has and should not have a say in the feds in any law enforcement it should not because it is not law enforcement okay you don't get a special set of fucking laws just for you but I'll tell you what we will do ADL we will take the laws on our books and apply them directly to you 
okay that should be really cool and fix up some of those problems that you've been having for the last 50 60 years right because you have been involved in a ton of illegal shit including foreign intelligence operations which are illegal okay i know the feds and everyone's gonna say but we wanted that honey pot opener well you know it's had its run you know it wasn't that fucking good okay it was the motel six of fucking operations like david duke you know so feel free to get rid of it it's not doing anyone any good except for the people involved that make the money that do not help anyone else just themselves okay okay so just like russell brand correct just like russell brand uh completely useless worthless great at making someone else money and fucking other people in operations that are illegal with foreigners in there so there you go you've got whatever it'll work itself out people are doing their stuff they're getting inside there and penetrating testing all up all up in these corporations and that's good that's good that's good to see you should do that you should say hmm i did not hire you to go do this and fuck up these court cases that's illegal that is illegal why are you involved in interstate criminal election interference you are not from here that's what people should say and then they should bring lawsuits against them and say oh no this is worth a hundred million dollars because for the last 50 years you've been interfering in elections of other people in inside the united states right you're not allowed to do that that is illegal and then go do that and the same with russell brand don't worry I mean, he's, you know, he's he's not going to be an unregistered foreign asset for much longer. <laughs> so, there you go, kids. We kind of saw this one coming. How, how did you not? I, I remember talking to other people about it. We did videos on that stuff. Hey, could have saw that one coming, right? Kind of saw it coming. Uh, I'm sure it's a roll of the dice on who comes up next. Who knows? Who really knows? Do you really care? Not really. It's entertainment for you, but it's good entertainment, and it tells everyone that the United States, Team America, gives a shit, which is always good for edu education, because you know you got to have someone else coming up behind you to do that job when you're too old to do it, and you're not good at it anymore. Right? Right. That's what you got to do. So, there you go. That's the end of it. Have a good uh, whatever today is, which is Saturday for me. I don't know. You might be in Australia, and it's the 42nd of July, and it's snowing where you live, which is weird, but you're Australian, and that explains it. If you're Canadian, I can't help you. I've been trying to annex your shit for like 10 years. It has not worked out yet. Two, two more invasions have failed. <laughs> since since I've well I tried the I did not try that one on purpose the first one that was not me didn't have nothing to do with me I was clear on that that was not me okay I said don't go do that shit the second one was also not me marginally successful in invading and taking over parts of Canada briefly also not me again let me point that out that was not me i was not interfering in any of your shit that would be illegal so i can guarantee you that's not me you saw me say that's not me i deny that <laughs> that has nothing to do with me okay so i'm sorry if you're in canada and listening to this you have to make Russell Brand go away yourself because I cannot influence you, okay? That would be weird if you were to listen to an American say, go do that shit. Don't do that shit. <laughs> don't. I don't want to catch no shit for that. So you just have to decide on if you're going to let a Britisher tell you, a Canadian, what to do 
on what overthrowing your government because that's all Russell Brand ever does overthrow the government we're going to overthrow the government and then you know here comes in my six kicking in your door what'd you say my oh that's not what I meant I meant um, um, I'm an actor you see I'm a stage actor you're going to pull the Alex Jones shit I'm a stage actor I didn't really mean that oh okay since you didn't really mean that hey you know them underage kids that everyone caught you with that time Guess what we're going to run in the news, buddy, since you didn't really mean it. <laughs> I don't got a problem with that. Can't get you one way, we'll get you another, you know. And, of course, there's other stuff involved in there, as always. I'm sure anytime someone runs out ahead of a story and says, No! I'm, you cannot see the giant bus driving down the street you know flags flying off of it and all this shit you know all the court cases hanging off of it and all this shit no no don't look at that and you're like I don't trust this guy what is going on here so immediately when I see Russell Brand denies it's like yeah okay he did it <laughs> it's instantly he did it I know he did it anyway I mean fuck I've, we've already run through his background. What the fuck? It's not like he did not do that. Now, what the argument is, how much did he do it? You know, just, that's all that shit is. So, whether he's a... Well, we know he's a criminal in at least the, in the uh, espionage way, the subversion way. He should have already been doing time for that shit, but wow, our government's weak nowadays. Right? I'm not going to go into that theory... And there is a theory. Andrew Bustamante knows it. Uh, oh, come to think of it, he actually does know that. I'm not going to go into it. But anyway, uh, that might be part of why Russell's not getting whacked. Why Russell was not whacked earlier. In the media is what I meant. It's why the, the media did the thing where they just acted like he didn't exist. And then once in a while they promote him. You know what I mean? Because it's, all of his shit's monitored. I know if he doesn't think so, he's a fucking idiot. Especially when he's running around with Russians and shit. And Alex KGB Jones, Stratford, all this other. Yeah, no, he's being monitored. And his value is coming up a uh, little snake eyes on that shit. So, again, what can you learn from it? I'm going to leave it to you on what you can learn from it because, like I said, there's a section there I'm not going to talk about. Or, there's a theory there I'm not going to talk about that makes absolute sense on how, if you were an intelligent, an opposing intelligence agency, how you would do it. How, how there would be a thing to do. And today on Denny's Menu, I will read you the Denny's Menu, which is not ever going to happen. Uh, there's not a Denny's anywhere near me to read their menu as we know i'd have to go full method acting like russell brand <laughs> when he reads a moscow script delivered overnight to him anyway so there you go uh, have fun kids uh try not to get involved in domestic or foreign uh intelligence uh agency operations just saying just saying you know don't know how many times i got to tell you the obvious on that one you know hey man let's go no i don't think i will in fact that looks like i might go to prison the rest of my life for that shit and the only person gonna make money on it is not me right i'm not gonna go do that i am not gonna touch that shit so the same as you kids don't get involved in that stuff let russell take the fall let him take the fall because he was going to help humanity out, the greatest humanity out, by selling your ass out to the Russians. And there you have it. I've just been jibber-jabbering. None of it makes any sense. None of it ties together, except for don't get involved in that shit. You saw this one coming, didn't you? Saw it coming, told you so. Told you so years ago. Another told you so coming down the pike, right? Like I said, I don't know who's next. I want to say, you know, just one of y'all pick some dice and roll the dice. I'll be like, hey, man, I rolled a seven. And we'll be like, oh, I don't know who who's number seven. 
of I don't have a list. Do y'all got the list? I didn't get the list in the mail. I didn't get the memo. So you'd be like, oh, yeah, well, number seven is uh, Jeremy Piven. <laughs> right? And you're like, who? Why? What is happening there? <laughs> right? Well, the fuck did that happen? You know, and it's like, well, number four, four, three, someone in Kevin Spacey. And it's like, what? And then you look in this background and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. I can see why he caught it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, oh, wow, that's that's pretty bad, man. You know. So, anyway, uh, just pick some dice, roll the dice, and and tell me, y'all decide who's next because I have no fucking idea. I didn't foresee Russell catching shit. I mean, yes, they obviously been meaning to take him out of circulation as far as publicity wise for a long time, but we knew this. We knew this. His his only operate uh, operating base, right, was that he was somehow a victim of the devil government, devil government, devil government, devil government, turning the frogs gay, devil government. That is his only selling point that he's done for ten years at least. That, oh, they're going to get me one day. They're going to get me. Same old shit with Bill Cooper and the others, right? Same old huckster and horse shit uh, while they worked for a foreign government. So, I don't know how it took this long. But, evidently, someone said, you know, I'm tired of this fucking shit. If that's the case, am I whichever's? Uh, am I... Am, uh, here you go. Here's for gas. M I Fers. M I Fers. M I five or M I six. Whichever M I Fer uh, decided that uh, I tip my bowling hat to you. Why not? I don't know why it took y'all so long to get around to that one. It's just like he had something had to have happened there that really irked them. Really tickled their gizzards you know what i mean like you know it really fucking tweaked them they that they were like mm, I don't know. yeah we're gonna do something about this fellow <laughs> you know what i mean we're gonna you know take your cane and tap it on the ground uh, harumph harumph we're gonna do something about this fellow he's completely out of line <laughs> it's like what how did you not know this you know what well, they did i'm just saying so whatever the hell uh I think it's funny. Uh, I have not said hello to the newest king uh, of the uh, United Kingdom Corporation. I have not said hello to him. I don't I don't I don't want to get whacked by King Charles. I'm just saying the Queen she'd let me slide. I don't know about King Charles. He might he might be like. Ew. Yep, it's time. We gotta kill Slappy. It's like, no, man, I didn't do anything. I was being nice the whole fucking time, man. Did you hear me bitching? Nope. Nope. Didn't say nothing. I couldn't do anything about the Prince Andrew deal. That's all y'all. That's on you. My man, y'all did that shit. You should have known better. No, no, no. Didn't want to do anything about it. That's not me. I'm not involved in that. Okay? Kids, do not blame me. I get the poor share. I don't. I don't. This aristocratic weirdo shit, okay? I, I it's not like I'm going to be allowed in their lodges or nothing. What the fuck, right? That's a no-no. So, hey, y'all got to take care of that shit. I just don't want to get whacked by them, okay? So, hey, you know, take him, take out Russell Brand. I'm okay with that, King O. I'm all right with that. Doesn't bother me a darn tootin' bit. So there you have it. Uh, I think we should promote Gaz to uh, home office secretary of colonies, of company colonies. You know, that's what I think. You can think differently. I'm voting for him at the next election. They don't have elections, I don't think. <laughs> I think they're all appointed. I don't actually know. Anyway, so, uh, vote for Gaz for, well, obviously not for the Rhodesian company colony. But obviously vote for Gaz for home office colony, uh, secretary. And uh, that way I can set up a colony inside my colony 
completely not illegal because I'm not a state. I am not an e-state. It's merely on the internet. It's a virtual colony. All right. We may or may not have camps, and you may or may not be directed to go live in that camp, whether you like it or not. Listen, it's experimental. <laughs> right? it's just, somebody's going to get offended by that. It's like, hey, man, you know, uh, kind of think you forgot. I know how this shit works. At least where I live, I knew how that works. So uh, just tell me, and I'll direct you to your virtual FEMA camp. And uh, that your virtual, your online FEMA, your online YouTube FEMA camp colony, right? And I'll be overseeing it by the War Department Corporation, and uh, or me and Gaz, right? Because it's a joint stock venture, right? That will make bitcoins. I don't know what it will make. <clears throat> Dogecoin. In which case. Uh, I guess we'll get paid in Spotify shares, of which I will immediately sell because I don't want shares in anything. Okay? Like that. So then I guess me and Gaz would be rich in the hundreds of dollars? Who knows? Anyway, so there you go, kids. Uh, don't go do anything I suggested or may not have suggested. Just. Do not read between the lines. I don't want involved in that shit, which is what I say every time. And then somebody goes and does something, and you're like, I know you knew what was going to happen there, Russell. <laughs> I did not tell you to go. To, nobody said to go do this shit. You chose to go work for a foreign government. Now, what the fuck? Now, I know you know you can't do that shit, Russell. I know you knew that. All right? So, do not go do that, kids, okay? Let me be clear again. Do not... Do not, and I actually mean that. Do not go to work for foreign governments because you're going to get busted. Okay? And you'll be like, oh, I know I'm cool. I know I'm cool. I'm a Hollywood actor. They ain't going to get me. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Ari Emanuel. Yeah, no, he's a criminal. He's going to get his ass waxed. Don't worry about none of that shit. I don't know what you think. You know about how law enforcement works. That's not how that works. <laughs> okay? Not how that works. Not. Not. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye or something.